Hi everyone, aloha. It's Psychic Arthur at, here on YouTube and PsychicArthur.com and welcome to Aloha Tuesdays. And my partner in crime is none other than Mel Dor, the Aloha Psychic. Hi Mel. Hey, how are you? I'm here. I wake up breathing. I'm happy. How well, is it? It's better than the alternative. Well, either that or I didn't learn my lesson. I'm still here. So waking up not breathing. I mean, that's not yeah, good. Really. <laughs> Brought to you dead. So <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a lot of craziness is going on well my goodness the weather today here in here well i don't live in chicago i live in a suburb of chicago but it was like 74 yesterday it was like 70 and i can never remember since i've been here since 1983 it's been that warm on in in at the end of february in chicago and the funny part is is there's this big storm center moving in it's going to cover four or five states or the, the, in the midwest included and um, it's going to get by tomorrow night, it's going to be like 29. So when I was doing a show yesterday, I had this hit that there's even before they were talking about this big storm front, that there were going to be a lot of tornadoes mm. here. And I just got um, a text message from somebody. Hi, Heidi. <laughs> She's uh, one of our followers that uh, she lives in DeKalb. And that's about an hour away from me but there's there were sirens going off there at 6 30. a friend of mine said a uh, weather alert just popped up that was at four o'clock there was a tornado watch for mount prospect that's where my office is so um there we have it <laughs> so wow yep i got a funny feeling i'm petrified of tornadoes so wow. i've got in the basement and uh, i got the dogs leash ready and what can i say <laughs> that'll do it i don't want to wake up in oz <laughs> so this inclement weather i mean for those politicians who say there's no such thing at, thing as climate change change they need to step outside yeah yeah so, it was warmer yeah. there than here in los angeles i think we hit 63 today and i see the ferociousness of a lot of these storms are going to get they're going to be more and more ferocious well, that's what we've been predicting, unfortunately, for some time now, that everything is more extreme, more extreme. Like the uh, they're adding category six to so the hurricane roster now. And I think it's going to be a huge hurricane year, too. Wow. So um, especially for the East Coast. I remember as a kid, I, we lived in Bucks County, PA, and I forget the name of the hurricane, but we lost like five trees in that thing. And those trees were like 50 years old. And, you know, just miss the house. Just miss the house. Um, you know, well, we don't get hurricanes here, but tornadoes scare me. I was in one back in 1974 in Louisville. Mm. And I, Louisville's part of, is going to be part of that whole big weather system that's moving in. So I think they're also under tornado uh, watches, I think. Wow. Yeah, tornado I remember in Indianapolis as a kid getting, hearing, you know, tornado warnings and all that well, kind of stuff. Well, tornado watch just means the weather is right to create tornadoes a tornado tornado warning means there's one that's touched down Ooh. okay so, so if there's sirens going off then i would take it to mean that's a tornado has touched down so i think you're not going to see the new movie twisters <laughs> no <laughs> uh, the old one i saw it was so it was you know what it, it it just made no sense scientifically or whatever. I mean, the little things they put in the tornado was cool, but when they were in that barn and they tied themselves down to that pole and they're going sideways, they would have been cut in half. And mm -hmm. all that debris, nobody would have survived that. Well, well, I've got a new one coming out. so just well, I've got know. a basement, so I'll go to the basement if things get really hairy. I saw a trailer for another movie called Civil War. It was frightening. Talk about dystopian. You know, people, I had actually people asking me if I had enough toilet paper. And I'm like, why would I want toilet paper? I think more about food and water, you know, and I, maybe they were thinking if a tornado hit that I would, you know, mess my pants. I don't know. <laughs> well, well, during COVID, nobody gets, you know, there's a short supply of toilet paper. That's probably why. Because every, every time somebody sneezed, everybody else would, you know, do yeah. doing pants that's why yeah <laughs> oh my god it's covid all right all righty so we got questions yeah but i wanted to bring up what do you think about this whole thing about a shutdown well 
you know, now everything I talk about on here, some people think it's my opinion, but it's all intuitive. It's all psychic based. Oh, that's, yeah, I agree. Uh, we do the same thing. If they shut it down, the the, the magas and you know preacher, pre, uh, you know Sherry, Moses Mike, Sherry called him Musk or Mike. What did you call him? I'm sorry, Moses Mike. Moses Mike. I like Moses Mike better. Um, I have the Ten Commandments. You know. So as, if Moses Mike allows a shutdown, it's just going to be a nail, another nail in the coffin for, you know, for his type. <laughs> Wait, uh, cancel. I've got all of a sudden, I can hear through my hearing aids. I've got my iPhone talking to me, my hearing aids. <laughs> I don't see that person in your contacts. Like we said, Moses, Mike, well, it wouldn't be. <laughs> so if he allows a shutdown, which I don't, I think is going to come right under the wire and there's not going to be a shutdown or they might delay it for another two or three months. Kick to it, kind of kick whole the thing can. Out. Correct. Kick the can further down the road, yeah. because, but it's not looking good for them anyway. No. So, um, for people that are, you know, you were telling me before we started about bots that were uh, oh, yeah. like, you know, taking over and saying, shut it down, shut it down. I think those were AI bots. And I think at some point there's going to be algorithms to stop that kind of nonsense from the bots because it's not people, they're computers making those comments. Right. So I think people don't realize if it does shut down, you don't get your social security checks. You don't get a lot of the well, government. Actually, numbers. you would get your checks but you don't going to get any services that's my point what but about if you have post a trouble with your check you're in deep doo-doo what about post office what about all the national parks which is going to hurt which is really going to hurt the economy is going to hurt tourism problem is we know who's running the house and Nate moses mike it's t rump cheeto head and um he doesn't care a lot of those a lot of people a lot of those politicians don't care about this country, their constituents, they just want to keep power. Right. But I don't see it shutting down. If it does, I'll be very, very surprised. I feel by a very thin margin, it'll, you know, it'll get kicked down. That's what I see. Yeah. Kick the can. And, you know, Moses Mike is in a hard place because he's got 30 people saying shut it down and other people saying don't. And, you know, and he's afraid he's going to get kicked out, but it is what it is. Well, he might be right about getting kicked out. <laughs> well, I've been predicting 10 minutes after his name was announced that by May or towards May, he's he's gone. That brings up another question talking about Moses. Mike, who was the one that uh, won the Democratic seat that Santos had a republic? Santos was a republic. But who was the one that, that won that? Swozy. Uh, I think that's his name. Swozy? Say Oh, say it again. Swozy. Swozy. Why haven't they why haven't they seated him yet? Because my guide showed me that if not careful, well, here, let me rephrase. That the Democrats will win over the House and the Senate. But the some way or another, the MAGAs are going to try to keep those Democratic winners from being seated so that the Democrats would take back over the House. And if that's the case, that creates a constitutional crisis. They haven't seated Sosi or whatever his name. I'm even. not. I feel it's by a certain date they do it. Just to be honest with you. But also during CPAC, Steve Bannon kept on putting out there <clears throat> the election was stolen. The George right. Santos election was stolen. They're already starting. Right. The election was stolen, and and there was, was no. There's wasn't no it Bannon and some other guy that called about an end for democracy or something? Something. Yeah, that's just here again. That reeks of treason. That reeks of insurrection. So the election wasn't stolen. We all know that. But I'm just wondering when this um, George Santos replacement is going to be seated. And I think they might try this as a litmus test. The other thing I'm nervous about is if Moses Mike is still the speaker, whoever is the speaker, will they certify the electoral votes? Uh, I don't know if by law they have to, but I see there's going to be some shenanigans. Well, actually, they changed. They did some. They changed the law, so they can't. The, 
the president, the vice president just can't say, oh, we're throwing these out. They can't do it. There might be some shenanigans though with Mike, well, with Mike's Mike. But I don't see him, I don't see him there by November. Oh, good. But whoever, my question is whoever is speaker at that point. Well, there's different. only a two seat margin at the moment, I believe. And what I keep on getting is that two Republicans may be leaving, whether they know it or not. It's what I've been saying. And I and think I always get is Mike Moses Mike a placeholder after him, and then Hakeem Jeffries before the election. That's what I'm predicting. Well, I think there's a lot of MAGA Republicans in the House do doing their pants because they, you know, I they're they're fearful that the Democrats would take back over the House. And they will. Of course. So of course. and they'll try anything to keep that from happening. And that's that's what's scary. Right. Even become, you know, foot soldiers for Putin. Right. Who's who's what? What is Trump? A puppet of Putin? Absolutely. So interesting. Thanks for thanks for touching on that. I just keep on thinking about a puppet. His hand, summer. Never mind. <laughs> I have up his no third strength. eye. <laughs> Where did that come from? I have no strings to hold me up. Was that Pinocchio or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Donald Trump. You know what? If he were like Pinocchio, his nose would reach from here to the moon and back, and then some. <laughs> about the only thing he's got that's long and pointy i know i i just got an image of a can of campbell soup mushroom soup for some reason <laughs> anyway <laughs> says okay. Jeremy daniels we don't want to go to youtube channel. No, no, just all right soup. so <clears throat> and speaking uh, of i got we had a lot of questions about trump but all right let's get uh, going i like this one let's see. i'm awful bossy aren't i you know what? It takes an Aries to get along with an Aries. We can only put up with each other's shit. Ooh, stop. We, I can bleep that. I'm editing tonight. I can bleep that. We can bleep it. We can both be drum. We can both be the leaders of the band. How's that? Um, I, I got my questions all out of order. Sorry. But my one question is not about Trump, but it's about are the presidents who have, this is from Lorraine Orr, are the presidents who have passed over working to expose the criminals in Congress and the White House and beyond? Well, Lorraine- The honest, the honest ones that have passed over are, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know about the White House. I mean, former White House people, possibly. Not I'm sorry, say again? She said criminals in Congress and the White House. I don't feel there's criminals in this White House. Not this White House, but no. the other one. Uh, but I mean, the the ones that have that have, you know who tried to commit insurrection, and you know, uh, look what look how the truth keeps winning out. Like the thing with Smirnoff and this and that. Oh my God! And you know, well, we'll talk about Jim Jordan in a second. But you know what, Lorraine, or I say the answer to that is yes, they are working to um, expose the criminals in Congress and the Senate and, you know, past occupants of the White House? The answer is yes. That's what I see. What do, what do you see, Arthur? I, I'm saying, yeah, it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's not like uh, we've got ghosts of Richard Nixon or anything. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't get that image. But um, Remember no, you, and I feel know. like people like Teddy Roosevelt and, and FDR and all of them, they're they're working behind the scenes from upstairs. Well, they're having a convention. That's what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. More like shooting fish in a barrel. But, <laughs> right. but you know, I was thinking the other day, this is off topic, but all the people in the house talking about, you know, no funding to Ukraine, no this, no that, and being Putin's puppet. It's like I really feel from now on, if somebody has to enter the House or the Senate, they need a competency test, but also be able to pass like a fifth grade civics test. That's not going to happen, unfortunately. Tell I us who, what are the capitals of every state? Uh, a little silly. Some of them would know, actually, to be honest with you, or very few would. And I, I, I bet you they even know what the Ten Commandments are in order. Oh, well, they don't. Um, 
I, especially the ones that claim to be so religious. Mm. I do see some vetting, but they got to be careful with that because you don't want to make it look, um, you could open a can of worms with that because, you know. Well, it's not like voter suppression. Like how many jelly beans are in this jar and you can vote if you guess it right. No, no, I get that. But some vetting process, like for example, you got to be careful with that because so that it's not discriminatory. Because it could vary if there's a vetting process, it could be very process. No, it could be very I, easy. I, I, I'm just but, talking. I'm just saying. No, I got you. Maybe that's my opinion or Manny Mo and Jack's opinion, my guides. Well, but... We know that some of them aren't the brightest crayons on the porch. I'm sorry, the brightest crayons in the box. Duh. The sharpest tool in the shed. Right. I have that. I said the, the lights are on, crackers. the oars are not in the water. All right, exactly. You know, intellectual cracker, intellectual cheese slid off the cracker or whatever. Yeah, well, while we're talking right. about Smirnoff, the arrest of, this is from, I love the name, Jitterbug Tutu. I, yeah, I love that name. Hello, Auntie Mel and Arthur. The arrest of Smirnoff at the airport as he was trying to flee the country was allegedly helped by his lawyers. Do you see any indictments for these lawyers? Thank you. You guys are one of my favorite collab teams. Oh, thanks. Thank Tutu. You, Jitterbug. Um, you said jitterbug, I said tutu. Um, you say tomato, I say tomato. Uh, all right, Mel. Um, I do see, yes, uh, at least two of them being investigated. Uh, and I see criminal charges, ooh, probably against filed against at least one of them, but I, I'm talking felony charges. I'm not talking about misdemeanor. Right. Yeah, because what they did was it's like, aiding and abetting a criminal to leave the country especially if it's their lawyer and you know if a lawyer knowingly engages in a criminal act to help their client then the uh attorney client privilege privilege doesn't hold up well if you're trying to break the law then what happened with trump's attorneys you that's know? why trump can't you can't say presidential privilege because if he knowingly broke the law which is hard to prove but they pretty too much proven it he can't he can't say executive privilege so well, these lawyers can see attorney client privilege on this case well think. as they say everyone around trump maga means make attorneys get attorneys oh i'm going to remember that make attorneys get attorneys <laughs> I, that's the first time i've heard that really i've heard that quite a bit all right i never heard it but thank you all right um this is from soul artist Hello, Arthur and Mel. Will Laura Trump be made co-chair of the RN seat? The answer is yes. That's why Trump wants the other one out. However, she's not, well, I don't know if she'll want the position, but if she gets it, she's not going to hold the position long. Yeah. I feel it's a name only. Right, because we know Donald will be doing it, but I don't know. There's going to be scandals that'll come out about it and how he kind of forced one out and tried to put her in, and it's not going to look good. So. No, and, and Daniel's, you know, she's out. So it, it's just this cherry picking that they do just to like put their people in. It's it's appalling. Which, oh, well, there's another question on there. I'll let you ask it. Go for it. What? I was going to talk about the 25th Amendment. <laughs> oh, that was from Buck. Donna D. Hi, guys. Will Ken Buck succeed in invoking the 25th amendment to remove president biden the answer so, is no I, I don't see that but explain that with the 25th amendment the way you explained it to me the 25th amendment is when the cabinet gets together and says you know the president's office rocker he's not fit for office well, and Trump's that's what they were rocker. trying to do around january 7th with mike pence to start that whole thing to get they were talking about the 25th Amendment to get Trump out of there. So um, it's not going to succeed. It's just saber rattling because it's an election year, because, you know, it just shows how crazy Jim Jordan really is, because now he knows he can't he can't bank on the smart off stuff because it was all a lie. And so. Right. But you, now what they're trying to do is. They have they, to prove he's not of sound mind and body. That's hard to prove. The 25th Amendment is hard to prove, yeah. you know. But Jim Jordan and Comer now want to have a new investigation 
and hearings regarding the her report which the was report, i'm sorry the her investigate the her report the one that said that biden did not do anything wrong but he's couldn't remember when the day his son died you know all that stuff you know what it's not going to go anywhere no i and think there's a very thing. beautiful goddess that one said it's a nothing burger that's linda grindle right yeah uh, and you know kim buck it's going to look really bad for him <laughs> too mm -hmm. um you know, he might invoke the 25th uh, Amendment, but so that's for the vice president. Can well, it's, it's for the cabinet, for the cabinet. The, well, but who has to invoke it? The Congress or the Senate? I'm not 100% sure, so I'm I'm not going to answer that. But they were going after Mike Pence to start it when after January 6th. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. No. Here's a, here's a fun one. It's gonna. It's, what is gonna happen is it's gonna get when election time rolls around. It's gonna get Ken Buck voted out. Oh yeah, because I see Colorado really turning purple and blue, not red and pink, purple and blue. Well, Nikki Haley gave a speech that about Colorado, saying it's time for somebody else. You know, <laughs> so and I feel she's gonna, even though she lost. And I was wrong about the South Carolina. I thought she would get it squeaked by, but she didn't. But I still see her holding on. She's not going to stop right away. I can tell you that yeah. right now. Mm -mm. And she's no. going to campaign. She's. I don't even think she'll ever endorse Trump, to be honest with you. I just. Hope, I think she's staying on to hope that he gets indicted. All this other stuff happens, and she's still standing. You got it. You know what, Arthur? I'm glad you said that about. Um, you know. Like I was wrong about Navalny. And sometimes, you know, as intuitives, we, we can be wrong about a few things. Or sometimes we're wrong, but at least we say we were wrong. <laughs> and sometimes we just misinterpret the signals, you know? So, right. Or I'll never forget, I had this one client. <clears throat> I told her, you know, all this stuff was going to happen in her life and blah, 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 blah. And it didn't. And she called me a fake, a liar, blah, blah, blah. A year later, she called and said, I was going through my notes. All that is happening on the exact same date a year later. I had a I had a negative write-up about somebody said I said that they would get a dog and they didn't. Well, okay, but isn't that a, you know, I do still see that person with a dog, but that's she a will. choice. You know, it, it, but it was only six months after the reading. Well, sometimes it takes a while. So, you know. Um, well. But what like I a guy, about, when a guy says he's going to call you later, it means between now and the time I die, not 20 minutes. When I did see Navalny um, becoming a real force and overturning Putin, I, you know, I didn't think that Putin would have a murdered, but Putin did have a murdered. But I think I had the name, I, I had the right name because Navalny's wife right. is going to be a strong force in overturning Putin and bringing democracy to Russia. But also to take it one step further, from the other side, he's doing, he's working overtime. Right, he is. Uh, which brings up a point, do you see any harm coming to her, to no. Yulia, or to Navalny's mother? No, or the daughter. Or the I, daughter. I feel, I mean, I've looked at it a number of times, and I keep on getting that they are protected, not only by Secret Service people or types, but also by the realm good well i'm just more worried about them being protected on the planet by... well that's what i'm talking about the realm is protecting them and like i call it upstairs you know is overseeing them but also if something were to happen to his widow they've created a martyr well they created a martyr with him right but this will be even worse because look at all the women that will go after him because what I'm seeing in Russia is a bunch of monuments going up for Navalny, even after Putin's gone. But between now and the time that Putin's gone, I see people, you know, clan clandestinely, clandestinely. like uh, putting little uh, flowers and creating their own little monuments for him. It'll be all over. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Putin can't arrest everybody. No, you got to be alive to do that anyway. Right. Is that me or you? All righty. Um, Here's one from Dimes from Heaven. Ooh. Like pennies from heaven, um, but with inflation. 
Hello, gentlemen. Will Trump go into the trusts of Barron or Melania to get his funds? Uh, I don't think Melania would let him. <laughs> well, I don't know if she's got any control over it. I guess, but here again, if it's in a trust, there's money in a trust for them, each one. He goes into that, then I don't know because I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, but that might be taxable income because he's used it for something and wasn't earmarked earmark well, all i'm reading is that melania has everything sewed up airtight he won't be able to touch anything that they've got you know he's going to try to get borrow money from foreign sources and things like that but i think the courts are going to step in and say wait a minute if you borrow money and you don't pay it back then it's income and I don't think, and I don't think any banks, unless they're Russian banks, or you know, are going to loan him any money. I think the ju judge ruled he couldn't get any loans from banks in New York to pay anyone his... connected to New York. Correct. Any offices. So there you go. <laughs> and then there's another question here from Let It Rain, not in Los Angeles, please. Um, <laughs> right. You know, what's going on in Baron's head? What's what, what? What's going on in Barron's head? Barron Trump? Yeah. I don't think he's even thinking about Donald. I don't even think, you know, I think he's more in his own bubble. So he's not even, it's a hard question. Yeah. But, I, um, I'm just asking, but the thing is, I he's going to be 18. You know, and he's going to pull away from his father. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Um, I, I don't think Melania is even going to want him to be close to his other siblings from Trump's. I feel he's kept, she's kept him away from all of them. And she will. She'll continue to do that. You know, um, I may have my personal feelings about her, but as a mother, she's very protective. Um, Let's see here. Karen Carpenter, 1341. Hello, Mel and Arthur. Will Trump's social media merger be successful and provide him with tons of cash? He might get tons of cash that he's going to use for things he shouldn't be using it for. But, but if the merger happens, you know, just like that one media company he started and he was going to put Nunez or Nunez or whatever yeah. his name is in charge yes, of it. Yes. And it lasted about as long as a snowball in Hades. Uh, if the merger happens, and I feel it will, guess what? It's, I'll give it six months, if that. It's like a lot of other stuff he touches, it'll go bankrupt. Yeah, it'll go under. It will go under. And I feel they may not let some of it go through. That's what I think, too, because if he's got the money to do all that or or have that merger, they're going to say, wait a minute, where's you know, your bond for any monies you get from that? You're going to have to pay these people. I think they're going to seize a lot. of. I feel I see psychically they're going to seize a lot of Trump's assets to pay off those debts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it now. I keep seeing his name being taken off Trump Tower in Chicago. I know. Just a T, though. And my just the T. I keep saying that, uh, or maybe they'll just turn the T off and leave up Rump for a while. Uh, I've always had that vision, and when I find out it's going to be happening, I'm going to be down there like cheering. <laughs> we'll be, doing, we'll be doing a live feed on YouTube. There you. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, instead of counting down for uh, New Year, three, two, one, Rump. <laughs> <laughs> Um, here's a fun one from Bernice Henson. Hi, Arthur and Auntie Mel. Louis Vuitton is made famous for his red shoe bottoms, which is his signature design since 1993. Will he go after and sue Trump for stealing his signature trademark? Have those ugly gold high tops having red bottoms? Love seeing you both. Aloha Tuesday. Well, mm -mm. I don't think so. I don't see it. I mean, they were changed enough, the gold shoes, where it's not going to matter. I just wonder where he got the gold lame for those shoes. Probably from his toilets. Gold toilets. No, no. The golden toilet is is the remake of the golden calf. That's where the golden calf ended up. 
Yeah, that's why Mike Moses. You know, anyway, um, Gerald the stash troll last night said on the show it was funny. Um, he said the gold lame, and I said, "How do you spell that?" And I said, "Is it L A M E lame?" Oh, the lame gold lame, <laughs> just like the guy who invented them. <laughs> no, I think he's got somebody in like some underage children in some foreign country to spray painting. Uh, guys, just for the record, um. Uh, I just heard a huge thunderclap outside. So um, if the lights go out. <laughs> well, actually, so, we had the lights went out and the electricity went out in my building last night for a bit. So, the beginning. so now I can officially jump in my Valium jar and eat my way out because I'm petrified of tornadoes. Oh, I just tell everybody, don't touch my Pez dispenser. That is not candy. <laughs> I'll get the dog's leash ready. <laughs> I'll tell Gary to put his hiney in gear too, because we're getting ready to hightail it to the basement. Um, Carmen Dubois? Dubois. Is she related to Blanche? Blanche. <laughs> Stella. Um, hello, sweet souls, Mel and Arthur. Oh, Would you. like to know if Jack Smith will be successful in indicting Trump in the federal trial and will it be an overwhelming indictment against him in running for president? I'm saying indict him where he's already been indicted. Right. Well, I think she means charged. Will he be convicted, you mean? Yes. I see convictions, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. All four from Jack Smith. Well, maybe three from Jack Smith, not all four. Well, I see him filing some kind of motion or some kind of complaint to get loose cannon taken off the case. Uh and he's, you know, she's already been ruled against a lot by the appeals court. And I think they've kind of had it with her. After this Trump thing is done, she's going to be dog meat. So but I, still see the, I still see the state of New York filing criminal charges against Trump for that bank fraud thing. The other, that, the case. The civil, that was civil turning into people. criminal. So, and. You know, I see him convicted of that there too. And guess what? Uh, then any president can't really pardon him. If he's convicted in a state, they can't pardon him. If he's convicted federally, they can. So I see at least two convictions where it's going to be by states. Mm -hmm. I agree with you a thousand percent. There you go. <laughs> and, huh? What is the current, this is from Chris Garvey. Hello, what is the current state of Trump's physical and mental health? Really? Well, I'm not a physician, but I've seen dark clouds around his head area for a very long time. And my guides have been telling me for a very long time that he needs to watch his health. And you know, when you hear him speak now, he's so disjointed and it really frosts me that they say that Biden is forgetful, Biden is this, Biden is that. Biden forgot more than Trump ever knew. And um, Biden... Well, the thing is, Biden uses cue cards. <laughs> so what? So did Trump. They I all use cue cards, people. <laughs> they all use teleprompters. But the bottom line is, Trump can't even focus on the teleprompter. I think, you know... Um, I can't wait to find out he's so fat that he's on gravitational pull. My point I was going to make is, is that um they they say those things about biden but they need to take a look at trump because his speeches are rambling and disjointed um they make absolutely a lot of times no sense it's like where did he come up with that and so um you know i think trump really needs to watch his health because i don't know if it's a stroke or something going on organically but things ain't right up there <laughs> yeah I always say he's like two cheeseburgers away from whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Oh, and somebody once asked, you know, wrote saying, why do you guys always say entertainment purposes only? You should just be bold and say what you say. It's like, that is nice to on paper. Right. We have to say for entertainment purposes only because it's just, it is what it is. Purposes only. <laughs> yeah. I'm an entertainer. Just like when they asked Wash Limbaugh what he did, he says, I'm an entertainer. Well, that's why it's listed what we do under entertainment. Yes. And that's why I have an entertainment tax attorney. 
There you go. He's brilliant. <laughs> Most creative person in Hollywood I know. Sorry, Steven Spielberg. I'm but, getting uh, this dog as we speak. She's here wanting a tummy rub. Aw. Uh, Can't reach down to rub her tummy, but I'm petting her. Hi, Lucky. She's a good dog. That's wonderful. Here's uh, from Eleanor Noldy. Um, I always feel like a high school teacher when I'm saying these names. Um, hello, gentlemen. Thank you for all that you do. When Jim Jordan and James Comer received target letters for their role in working with Smirnoff, the Russian agent, to attempt an impeachment of a sitting president, when will they do it? Thank Say it again. You. Sorry. When will Jim Jordan and James Comer receive target letters for their role in working with Smirnoff? Target letters meaning what? Oh, from you know when when the DOJ says you know you're in deep doo doo, we're coming out. We're going to be investigated, and I see them out, and I see indictments uh, probably for both of them as well. I know it sounds disingenuous for me to say all these people are going to get indicted. But when I said that a long time ago, somebody put it in the comments, it was disingenuous for me to see all these indictments, but they happen and they're happening. They still and, are. Exactly. And that's what I see for Jordan and um, the other dude. Comer Pyle? Comer. Comer. <laughs> Who called Mo what Moskowitz a, a smurf and then he showed up with a smurf bow tie? I think they're going to have a lot more on Jim Jordan than they do on the other dude. That's why I call him the other dude, Comer. <laughs> yeah. And Jim Jordan spelled G-Y-M. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hello, two beautiful light workers. My this is from Kath Kathy Reagans. Oh, hi, Kathy. My question is: do you see the RNC continuing to pay for Trump's legal fees? as he goes forward in legal challenges in the future? Uh, I don't, I guess they can, but you know, the point is they have to be very careful with it because they could be breaking some laws too. And, you know, Trump's legal fees are mounting to millions and millions. And I think if members of the RNC knew how much money was being bled out of the, out of the purse of the RNC, uh, because of that, they're going to say no. <laughs> yeah, enough is enough. Right. I mean, they're hemorrhaging and it's all going to his legal fees. All right. Not going to the other candidates that may want to be running or other Republican. Doesn't care. He doesn't care about them. He just wants to, he wants to stay out of, he wants to he stay out of jail. Right. Exactly. And collect $200. Right. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Eleanor asks, hello, Maven, Mel, and awesome Arthur. What effect will 45's indictments and going broke have on his campaign? Also, Ivanka is being kicked off of his campaign. What will the effect be on Trump and the Republican Party? Let's say the first part of that again. I'm sorry. What effect will 45 indictments and going broke have on his campaign? Also, Ivanka is being kicked off his campaign. What will the effect be on Trump and the Republican Party? Well, Trump's base will be Trump's base no matter what. I mean, that few handful. Just like, you know, after World War II, the people that, that, that handful of people that liked Hitler, oh, you know, they still were loyal, kind of. The other ones kind of slink back into the woodwork and just... Oops. Not much, right, exactly. And that's exactly how I see it here. So I don't know what the question was, but. <laughs> well, all I see is in the real world. Remember the picture of the Hindenburg? Crash and burn. Oh, the humanity. Right. Yeah. That's. Uh, let's see here. My dog is very needy. She's afraid of the thunder. And she, she's laying over here looking at me. It's okay, girl. She's like, Dad, help me. It's okay. It's okay. Look, come on, girl. It's all right. You can put her on your lap. She's too big. She's 50 pounds. Oh, sorry. See, look I had a min pin who thought she was 50 pounds. Yes, Lucky. Can you see Lucky? Oh, hi, Lucky. She's a good girl. Hi, Lucky. 
Yeah, she's scared. She can hear the thunder. It's okay. No worries. All right, I'm back. I just had to. No, it's okay. Them. Take care of our children. I understand. Uh, I'm going to say this name wrong. Kle Klebanov, 12. Ooh. Do you see the U.S. Department of Education passing a new bill to provide more aid to students, especially those pursuing a Ph.D.? Yes, I do actually, but but not not with the Republicans holding the House. I think once the Dems take over and keep the Senate, then I do see a bill being drafted, and I see it passing. There was a wonderful story though in the news about a doctor, female doctor, who was an educator for years. Her husband was a big guy on Wall Street. I forget her name. Just the other day at Einstein um, University in, I think it was Brooklyn, she donated $1 billion. So there's no kids have to pay. Wow, that's cool. Um, if I won the lotto, I'd donate lots of money. I'd start homeless shelters, whatever. I know. Get in line, pick a number. I think we all were. You got it. Um, but it was a, it is a beautiful story because she announced it. All the kids freaked out. Oh, I'm tearing up. That's okay. Um, it's a beautiful story because her husband died and said, "Do whatever you think is best with the money." Yeah, Let's well, see. all of our politicians would take that lead. They really care about their constituents and do what's right. We wouldn't even be having these conversations, would we? Right. It's like Warren Buffett's son went to and gave, you know, Ukraine um, fifty fifty million dollars. Well, I see a, a lot of other countries in NATO and the European Union banding together and donating a lot of money to Ukraine and weapons. So and Japan really came up. And Japan will continue to help. Yeah. So, so, okay, Lavender Love. <laughs> Hi, Melon Arthur. Elon Musk spreads right wing misinformation on Twitter slash X regularly. Do you see Musk sell X at some point? If so, when? He just bought it as an outlet so he could put forth that information. And when it was called Twitter, when he first bought it, many of us predicted that. It would lose lots of money and it would be in big trouble. And here we are. Well, that's where I was wrong. I thought he would never get it. I really there, but when he got it, it would be like, yeah, like another Hindenburg. It, right. Um, and I see Elon Musk meeting his Waterloo as well. Yeah, all of his money, especially when he's when he's saying that Putin should win, and let let Russia win. In Ukraine, Where does he live, anyway, he just said that the other day. Where does he live? In his own mind. I'm sorry. In his own mind. I don't know where he lives. I, I just don't know. I, th I thought it was out here in California, possibly. Uh, but um, you know, then if he wants Putin to win, then Mr. Musk go to Russia and live under that regime, and let's see how you like it. Yeah, I mean, you know. I'm sure, you know, you'll have a room next to Tucker Carlson. The light bulb just went on. And what I do see is legislation being passed that a lot of these satellites that are privately owned that, you know, in the event of war and things like that, that they cannot just shut them down, just like Musk did with that. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I forget where it was, but um, and I also see the U.S. government putting up a lot of satellites for communication purposes, so that can't happen again. Right. No, he's, everybody was always hailing him as some genius. Well, and, he is a business genius. He really is. I mean, you know, he can be a genius and still not use his yeah. intellect for the right reasons. I always saw him as like an idiot savant. Uh, they don't use that term anymore. Well, I do. Savant. Um, I just showed my how. Uh, you know, I don't know. If Are he's you on... hearing me? Because it just says I'm. Oh, I thought I was on mute there for a second. I'm sorry. 
Oh. I just, the mute thing just came up, so I didn't know if I hit I don't something. know if he's on the spectrum or not, but um, I still see him getting his Waterloo because of, you know, the, the, the person he supports. You know, Charles Lindbergh actually in the beginning supported Hitler. Okay. He mm -hmm. was very anti-Semitic. And after the war, when he went and saw those concentration camps where people were just, you know, the bodies piled up and things like that, uh, he, he backpedaled and changed his mind and apologized, but then it was too late. Mm -hmm. So at some point, Elon Musk is going to be held accountable as well. You know, I think the, the, the key word for this decade is going to be accountability. And people held accountable for this, especially politicians and world leaders for the crap they pull and ever and multi billionaires. <laughs> right. Remember, they used to just be millionaires and one billionaire. Now everything's a billionaire. It's insane. 484 million is a drop in the bucket, probably for Elon Musk. But I don't think he's going to. I just had a feeling Trump might be at some point trying to butter Musk up for a loan. But I don't think if that happens, I'll be very surprised. I no. don't think. No, I don't see that happening. For entertainment purposes only. <laughs> um, Arco Isis or Iris. Um, we shouldn't underestimate November 2024 elections. That's right. Please Hallelujah. Please vote 2024. Our democracy is at stake. Is Biden blowing away votes cause of Gaza? Netanyahu incompetence is causing votes in America for Biden. Is it designed to help Trump re-election? Well, I'm pro-Israel. I'm not pro-Netanyahu. Correct. And I see Netanyahu gone. So, you know, Biden is already trying to have a ceasefire and he's forcing or trying to force Netanyahu to do it. Um, if Netanyahu doesn't, then I, at some point, Biden might even try to sanction Israel. Um, but there's a lot of time between now and the election. Yes. And a lot can change, trust me. Yeah. So what's going on now at that juncture is not going to matter. Uh, remember, if somebody who doesn't vote out of protest, that's a vote for Trump. What part didn't they learn from 2016? Right. So, but know, also what I think, I'm just going to, sorry to interrupt you, but I'm just going to say that what I keep on seeing in the news is they're talking about they're not going to vote for him in the primaries. But I feel when it comes to the national election, they are not going to vote for Trump. A lot's going to happen between now and then. And I also see Netanyahu stepping down July, August. And by that time, by that time, this thing in Gaza will be settled. Mm -hmm. uh, what I do see ultimately, it might not be this year, but I ultimately see two separate states, Israel and Palestine. Mm -hmm. And at some point, you know, ex uh, peacefully coexisting. So, um, you know, people might be mad at Biden, but he didn't um, start the war. By, well, Hamas did. They invaded Israel because yeah. Iran and Putin was behind it because they wanted to take Putin wanted to take uh, eyes off of Ukraine and also wanted to create instability in the Middle East. And also then he knew he'd probably make Biden look bad, but it's not going to work. It's going to blow up in Putin's face. And also the fact that it was done on Putin's birthday. What is it? There you go. So that, that's insane. Uh, let's see here. Patsy A. Akers, if Trump receives foreign money to pay his criminal debts, can he still be president because he would be very compromised? I think they're not going to allow him to receive foreign money to pay his debts. Well, I see. Just like he can't get loans from, from banks in New York to pay his criminal debts. So I think they're going to, I know, and psychically I know they're going to, scrutinize that very very carefully it's okay yeah. look oh she's shaking <laughs> uh, well that's about it i've got I one i've got one can i ask it sure. no of course you can yeah i won't then mm. i'll get lower lip syndrome oh. <laughs> um 
Garden Genie says, hello, dynamic duo. Thank you. Uh, could you please read into what hold Israel has over the U.S.? None. <laughs> uh, I recently heard we continue to fund Israel because of blackmail possibilities very deeply hitting relating relating to J. Epstein or I'm sorry, Epstein or similar. I don't see that at all. Is that from Steve Bannon? Yeah, right. That's what it sounds like. Misinformation. I, I think, you know, we've long been allies of Israel and will continue to be, but we will, but Biden is not going to support Netanyahu. And, and when he's planning, you know, this full scale attack that's coming up and yeah. then he was telling people to evacuate. There's only one problem. They have nowhere to evacuate to. Exactly. So I don't, I don't see any, I don't see that. Uh, I mean, that question i don't think no it's, israel has anything over the u.s not really well i would just say it sounds like it's dry queen misinformation right uh but i see an end to the ultra right wing stuff in israel which netanyahu is right I see it on. and well, i keep what i said saying, in july august my guides have shown me that there's going to be a prime minister in israel um that is going to really promote world peace uh, will promote peace in the Middle East, but that will still be able to set boundaries and and uh, will not be weak and no nonsense. Mm -hmm. So that if anybody does anything to Israel, that prime minister would retaliate, but is more going to work for peace. And, peace. and I see yeah. a very strong leader, more really middle of the road coming to Israel. That's what I see. Do you see another female in the future? That's what I keep on saying. Yeah, I did. I saw like, another. Like a gold in my ear. Uh, I saw another female. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, so there you yeah. go. Well, I, my friend, I think that's about it. That's it. So if people want to get a hold of you now, you have another booking yeah. for your, your bookings. Right. I just, uh, I have, uh, I, I've still got one opening for Africa because the person that was, supposed to go had to cancel mm -hmm. so i've got one opening and i've only got between now and march 19th to fill it so if you're interested in coming uh 847-590-5411 that's for africa or to book a reading i've still got eight openings on my rhine river tour but africa one more or you can email you can go on my website www.meldor.com um, we are now a tornado warning in this area until 8 30 p.m take shelter in a basement so i'm gonna go and it's i'm gonna go, i'm gonna go in the basement it's 7 30 here oh okay all right Bye, everybody had a go i'm now all right bye see you next tuesday all right bye -bye. Bye -bye.